a package today uh, from Zion Health and I'm pretty excited because um, I reached out to them on Instagram about some of their um, new scents of deodorant. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's a little booklet on their clay dry deodorants and I had tried one, gosh, maybe a year or so ago and I really liked it a lot. It worked really well and had a good smell. Okay, looking in here, it must have been the eucalyptus mint. Goodness, I can't even believe how many different formulations and scents they have. Wow. But so let's check out these three today. Honeysuckle. It smells nice. It's not, it's not really strong. It just smells really pleasant. I wouldn't say it's not like overly floral or super feminine. It's just really nice. Shower fresh. Yeah, I think... I think this would be the one that I would have Ryan check out. He doesn't like a strong scent in deodorants and this is just, just like this, shower fresh. This one's Bergamo Rose. Ooh, that sounds intriguing. Oh yeah. Oh, this smells great. This really, really smells like rose water and I actually like to put uh, rose water in my bath sometimes and sometimes I spritz my face with rose water. Mmm, that's really, really nice. Why don't I just do a little tester on my arm here? Mm, yeah, see, it goes on really clear. It's got such a a good feeling. It it doesn't feel thick or heavy or greasy. Mm, and my experience with the other scent was that it really, really actually works. Uh, thanks so much for sending those to me for a review. Um, after I've used them a little bit, I'll probably post something on Instagram about what my experiences were like. So I uh, look forward to that. Come along, let's have some fun with Angie's Good morning. Hello. So, what is your passion doing in the bright daylight? I can't believe he's out here in the middle of the day. getting away. Come back, where are you going? He's leaving. Just setting up a photo shoot for Instagram so I can let you guys know that we still have uh, plenty of our Teas in stock right now, the tie-dye, the black and white classic, and even the um, sleeveless gray one. We just got a new shipment of the cookbooks in, so we're fully stocked. And of course, our last two Love Sprawls albums are also in stock too. Now, of course, as I'm setting stuff on the table, a certain someone couldn't resist coming to join. Hi, Boo Goo. You wanted to get in on the photo shoot, huh? I was just gonna do the products today but you can be on the vlog. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> Look at Ryan diligently fulfilling your orders in the coldest room of the house. I am, man. I'm like in Rocky's meat locker here. Oh, no. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah, thanks, guys. You guys are keeping us quite busy. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. getting these orders out, so hopefully everyone will get them by the holiday. Oh, they will, yeah. Awesome. What you doing, JoJo? You marking the orders? Oh, well, not to be left out. Hi, guys. Well, hey, beautiful blue eyes. So I was just gonna say, this is the sixth day of us sending out uh, cookbook orders and t-shirts apparently too. Uh, so the pile's getting a little bit smaller, but we really do appreciate you guys getting in some holiday orders. And we're gonna keep fulfilling orders for as long as it takes till we get everything out. Alrighty, I'm gonna be making uh, the Southwestern Chowder from the Happy Healthy Vegan Cookbook. Uh, I also did a recipe demo on this, I think, a while back, though I may have changed some of the stuff since then. Anyways, it's, it's gonna come together pretty quickly. Got my potatoes boiling with some spices, as you can see here. I've never had a baby kale to this soup, but I'm gonna guess it'll work out fine. This just happens to be what I have on hand today. 
Voila, ready to go. I'm so excited. All right, lunch is served. I can't wait, I'm starving. And I am too. Mmm, this me at the spot. So here we go, the Southwestern Chowder from the Happy Healthy Vegan Thank you. Cookbook. Now I can go make a video. Great. Hello, couples. Oh, did you find that little piece of avocado I left you? He's so happy. You need Mr. Chabosh. Oh, oh, you don't trust me. I've been seeing this new sprout popping up in my little garden plot. And I think it looks so familiar to me, but I'm not sure I can place it. Is anyone out there know what plant this is? To me, it looks like it would be, I don't know, it looks like it would be a vining plant. Still enjoying that. Yeah, it's getting all fattened up for winter. I know, it's so tough in California. recipe that I just started coming up with since the book art came out but uh, who knows maybe it'll be the third book it was just a uh, just a red kidney bearing curry just trying to thicken it up a little bit here we are piping hot Ryan made some brown basmati rice to go with it and it's smelling really heavenly 